Wrap your hands around a Winchester Super X4. It's light on the shoulder and points and swings as smooth as honey butter on a hot biscuit. Most of all, it functions freely when the north wind blows cold. The fastest cycling, most reliable, best patterning auto loading shotgun ever made. The Winchester Super X4. And this week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born, slipping from spot to spot here. We're gonna go out and do a little grunt and run, if you will. Got in there? Yeah. Well, as you can see, I'm out here. Yeah, I'm filming myself. I just couldn't stay out of the woods. Here I am. This week on Winchester and Jury's Natural Born, we will turn back the hands of time with Mark Fries of Analogics as he takes a nice Texas whitetail. Oh my, that was amazing, guys. <laughs> Love it. Then Dave Kramer warms up the traditions muzzleloader on a mature buck in Iowa. He's down, he's down. Stay put, we have a lot of action in this episode. All right, back in Texas again. We are here awaiting a front that based on deer cast and the weather forecast is going to hit in a couple of days. Once it does, we feel like we're gonna be in really good shape. However, we just landed, we just got here. Taylor gets in this evening. We'll check all the reconnaissance information tonight. We'll have a good plan going into this cold front to see who's going where and what deer might be showing up. One of the benefits of having a lease in another state is a whole new deer herd. One of the challenges is staying on top of that deer herd, knowing what bucks are where, who's hitting what flat, all that good stuff. So, Freezy is up to bat. I'm up to bat. We're looking forward to it. XPR, baby. Mark Freeze is a great partner of ours. He owns Analogics. He's become a very good friend. And not only does he participate in the outdoor industry by owning Analogics, he also is a dyed-in-the-wool whitetail hunter. He eats, sleeps, and breathes it just like we do. God bless Texas. We are here. We are home. We love it down here so much. And. Uh, this morning, Freezy and I are going back in. We got to be the camera. We're going to sit there and hopefully have some fun. Looking forward to spending the day with Mr. Freeze again. We're just slipping from spot to spot here. We had a slow morning this morning. We're going to go out and do a little calling and running, grunt and run, if you will. We got a rifle in hand, so why not cover this big expansive ranch, it's 10,000 acres. You know, sometimes you can go to the same stand day in and day out and it's just not happening. Well, this lease is 10,000 acres, so sometimes you just gotta get a little aggressive and start hunting some new spots. Well, most of this ranch is fairly open. It's a big cattle ranch. When you find those really thick areas, those are some of our best spots. You've got to have your guard up, you gotta have your eyes open and ready for one to pop out at any second. sign that we've noticed down here. When they're thin antlered like that, they're generally not mature. At what age do you think they get the mass down here? Well, like in the Midwest, like we start to see the mass come on by the time they're three and a half, four and a half years old. To me, these deer feel like they're a couple years behind that. I mean, it's not the best way to age a deer. Obviously, that deer was streamlined. But you couple that with a streamlined neck, no gut back straight. I find these deer difficult to age down here because the differences between a four-year-old and a six or seven-year-old are subtle. But I'm fairly certain that deer was young. But you get these cloudy days down here, we feel like these deer move really well on days like this. You see them all day long. We had a major cold front pour push through yesterday. If you go over that ridge right there or around it either way with this north wind, there's a big water tank on the back side of it. Why don't we go check it out? You know, we bounce around a lot down there. The, the lease is 10,000 acres. So if we go try a spot out and we don't have luck, 
the temptation is too great not to go to another spot, go to a different water hole, a different thicket, a different trail. We don't have any wind speed today. We don't have any wind speed today, so. Some days when it's windy, I like to rattle a little bit more, but there's windy days where you feel like your rattling's going 100 yards, and there's calm days where you feel like your grunt's going 1,000 yards. This is one of those calm days. We got a north wind in our face right here. It's supposed to be like five mile an hour all day. If you're in the mall and somebody walks up to you and shoves you, you're gonna react to it. It's similar to a deer. It's kind of a challenge between deer. I get a lot of good response to that snort weed. It didn't take long, and all of a sudden a buck pops out, and, and we catch a, a vision of this guy, and now all of a sudden it's go time. Got him there? Yeah. Back! Nice shot, Marcus. Oh my, that was amazing, guys. <laughs> Love it. This just never gets old down here. Hey, good job, buddy. Buddy, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Boy, it just never gets old. <laughs> All right, Marcus. Let's go look at this guy, buddy. This is <laughs> oh, what a day. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Sweet, baby, sweet. That That's is a stud. Look at how old his face oh, looks. He's old. Let's pull him Man. out. Let me just grab it, I got him. Boy, a big, beautiful, mature deer, Mark. Amazing. Congratulations. No, and you said right away, mature buck. Mature buck. Which, mature buck. No question. <laughs> when you're in doubt, when you look at a deer, much like the 10 point we saw this yep. morning, look at him, nice deer, but you could just tell he wasn't quite mature. But when you see a mature deer and you see the big neck, it's a look that you just can't mistake and you never forget it. Big headed deer, big rack, and uh, mature deer. And once again, the Winchester XPR just put it right on the mark, brother. Congratulations. Yeah, well, that, that thing has zero bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Beautiful deer. You just can't get much better than this, you know. You come down here, and this is what it's all about. It is. Know? Congrats, Mark. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. No, we thank you. No, we thank you. No, we thank you. No. <laughs>
old adage, you get what you pay for, still holds true today. Reconyx trail cameras have a well-earned reputation of being the most dependable, longest-lasting cameras available. Thousands of cameras we built over 10 years ago are still in use today. And if you ever do have a problem, you can rest assured that we'll stand behind our products with world-class service and support. In the end, you really do get what you pay for. So why not invest in American-made game camera that will be there for you year after year, guaranteed. Reconyx, see what you've been missing. You grow to love the repetition. Enter at the Old Elm, Third Maple on the right. Maybe today, maybe not. Sleep, refuel, try again. This time is different. I've elevated myself. Winchester and Drury's Natural Born is brought to you by Sink Crusher, Bass Pro and Cabela's, Ram Trucks, Reconyx Game Cameras, Nomad Apparel, Mossy Oak Camouflage, Analogics Outdoors, Deercast, and Winchester Ammunition. Nice shot, Marcus. Oh my. Utilizing the large expanse of land in the Lone Star State, Mark Drury and Analogics Mark Freeze put their boots on the ground and did some good old fashioned grunt and running before finally meeting up with a mature seven point Texas bruiser. Look at that. That That's is a stud. Now, let's head back to Iowa and catch up with DOD veteran Dave Kramer as he takes his Winchester muzzleloader out in an effort to end a long dry spell. Oh, and did I mention, he's also self-filming. Well, anybody that's hunted whitetails has gone through some sort of a drought in one form or another. Well, for me, it's been just that. Multiple years, three long seasons since I was able to wrap my Iowa tag around a big set of antlers. Some of this drought's been pretty much self-inflicted. He whirled just as I shot. My bow hit the seat, so I had to put readjust and then he, then he blew. The fact that we're trying to manage for mature deer, an older age class, makes it a lot more difficult just to go out there each season and fill that tag. Well, knowing that there's a lot of deer using this field, I devised a game plan to actually take a ladder stand in, sneak into one little secluded little point where I knew I wouldn't pressure the main part of the timber, and I hung a set the day before season. Well, as you can see, I'm out here uh, wearing blaze orange because I'm doing something I haven't done in three years now. I'm, I'm actually gun hunting, but it's been more than three years. It's not 1996 is the last time I hunted a shotgun season. But I uh, thought I'd give it a try. I'm gonna bow on the late season. As you can see, I'm filming myself. Dalton, uh, he couldn't come out with me tonight. And uh, I just couldn't stay out of the woods, so here I am. Well, it really wasn't that long after being set up before I started to see some deer movement. I actually looked behind me up on the ridge in a thick bedding area and I could see a lot of stuff going on. And I could see that there was a buck. He was kind of bumping and nudging a couple does around and they ran back into the bedding area. I wasn't able to get any of that on film, but I knew that I was in the chips. I expect these deer to come out over here to my left, which means I should be able to swing the arm over here and hopefully get them coming across. see how well it works. My plans haven't worked very well here for the last three, four years. Well, I knew that there was a pretty nice buck back in the bedding area. I, I couldn't tell exactly what he was, but as the does started working their way out in the field, I knew that it was only a matter of time before he probably stepped out at least to get out and nudge these deer around a little bit. Once I got the binoculars up, I could see that it was a shooter. So then I had to get everything else. I got the cameras on him and rolling as this buck slowly works his way out into the field. Oh, 
Well, if you've ever self-filmed a hunt, you know how tense things can get. You're, you've got the animal in there that you're wanting to try to shoot, and he's working his way out in the field or wherever. You got to get that camera adjusted, get your weapon up, and, and keep him center frame or try to get him center frame before you make the shot. shot made it quick and easy no track job necessary I couldn't wait to get on the phone and call Dalton and see if maybe he could come out and help me recover this deer well as you can see I hung this ladder stand yesterday morning because I know that the deer were coming out and feeding in this field and this is the first sit in there Dalton's here with me let's go take her let's go lay our hands on him and take a look at him you know Well, December 9th here, Iowa's second shotgun season, 2018. And it's been a long time since I've been able to lay my hands on a big mature whitetail. And I come in and hung the set yesterday morning in this tree, knowing that there were deer coming out into this cornfield. This is actually a lease that we've got. Rick Malik, myself, and the buddy Dave Schlarman from town. Tradition striker fire muzzle loader. Put this guy down at 150 yards. Big old head on this thing, just a beautiful buck. I know the deer, I've got trail camera pictures on my property a mile and a half away from here, but you know, the gun season, that's what it does. It bumps deer around. I haven't seen the deer all year, but uh, he worked his way into the lease and he come out tonight feeding in the corn and 150 yards, the traditions did the rest. So awesome, awesome, awesome night here in Eastern Iowa, beautiful buck. After three long seasons, what a gratifying feeling to finally get one on the ground. And we just signed this lease for another three years. Things aren't gonna change. We're gonna keep up our management plans. We're gonna try to get this age structure a little bit higher each season. I just hope it's not another three years before I get to wrap that tag around a big set of antlers. Next week on Winchester and Jury's Natural Born, it's off to Louisiana as JJ Kaliser takes his Winchester XPR to the timber and closes the deal on a beautiful seven-year-old buck. Let's do it. Oh, Let's man. do it. Gosh dang it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. But wait, there's more. We join Kyle Lamour in Illinois as he is chasing the elusive song dogs in an effort to improve their whitetail herd. I mean, it feels like that. Yeah, that was crazy. It was so fun. You won't want to miss it right here on DOD TV. On to the next job. The next challenge. The next place. On to the next level. And all the rewards that come with it. The all new Ram 1500. Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. Everything you need to get on to bigger things. Not a place you visit, a station on the radio, or even a state of mind. It's who you are. It finds its roots in your connection with the land and the animals that live there. You go the extra mile and always give back more than you take. You put family first and sow seeds for the next generation to reap. You get up before dawn to see the world more clearly. That's country. Mossy Oak Breakup Country.
We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DoD TV was brought to you by Leopold.